Now we now move to the NBA and the NBA All-Star Games getting, uh, I think we got voting. Voting is taking off. It's good to vote. Um, we just got the results. I think the f uh, first initial results are out. A lot of interesting things as, in, as that goes. Uh, but now uh, NBA Players Association and the NBA, they're finalizing details on how to make it all work in Atlanta. Uh, and now the um, there's uh, looks like some of the top players aren't quite on the same page. We've had some interesting comments from LeBron James have come out. And uh, now we're seeing uh, some other players get behind them. Uh, it seems like there's a little bit of a disconnect here. And um, I guess the issue is, should the All-Star game be played as the, the league and the Players Association are maneuvering towards or should they call the thing off? Uh, what's your what's your take on it, Drink? Well, you know, the way I look at this is I, whatever event that you do, is it what is the event for? Is the event solely for the money? Is the event for the fans? Is the event is, is the event to further your brand as the NBA? I, I'm a little confused with all this going on. I understood the move last year to make a bubble and continue the season and have those guys play at Disney World or whatever and, until you got a champion. I understood that. I also understood you had to come back in a very short season, 71 days for the Lakers and the, and the Heat, and then, you know, start the season early. And then you knocked off 10 games off the season and made it 72 rather than 82. That I can rationalize. I'm, I'm finding it very hard to rationalize the All-Star game when you have your top players saying, we don't want to do this. We think it's more about money than health. And... I think personally, yeah, the, the players are saying that. I think it's about why we, why, why do we have to play in this empty arena? Um, and we're gonna act like we're entertaining the fans, but are we really entertaining the fans? We don't want to be there. So now, do you force these million-dollar, you know, assets to go out there and play, and give you a lackluster performance, or do you do what a lot of major league, um? leagues did this year you just make a roster you do your little zoom thing and you call it a day i'm a proponent of i want to see the draft still go down i want to see lebron draft against kd and then they draft their teams i'm that's very entertaining to me i want to see that i don't care to see any all-star weekend events because it's not going to be the same it's just not you don't have the crowd the ooh ah. You don't have the guy Steph Curry making that very last three in the three point competition and people going crazy and you know or, or, or you know Aaron Gordon you know coming out with something crazy in a dunk contest you know so on and so forth. I just I don't I'm with the players here. Why? Why make them play this? Do make your teams call it a day and then give them that week to rest since they're already playing a short season. Give them that week to rest and then start the season back up whenever you start the season back up. Um, but this is a money grab, and this is what that is what Kawhi said. Kawhi said out of his mouth that he feel like this is more about the money than it is our health. LeBron said he he's not feeling it because he has zero energy and zero excitement, which is. Normal when you're gonna have these guys having a glorified Olympic practice, pretty much. That's what it is. It's it's not gonna be no excitement for that. It's it's just not. And so I agree with the players. Now here's the problem with everything that the players are saying. The NBA and the NBA Players Association, which represent you, the players, are finalizing the, the details of this. So you can say this is bull crap, you can say all that you want. But you need to be talking to the Players Association because clearly they're saying it's a goal. So I don't know, you know, why, you know, all this hate and discontent for, for the most part. The NBA want to make money. That's clear. The NBA players want more rest. That's clear. They're going to have to find out a way to make it happen. But at the end of the day, me, nor you, nor any other average, you know, Joe or whatever you want to call it, we find it very hard to feel sorry for millionaires and billionaires, you know? So we, I'm sorry, we find it kind of hard to do that, but that was my outlook on it. If you got the players out here kicking and screaming not to do it, have the same energy you had for the, re, the resumption of the season last year. Cause you remember a lot of players said they didn't want to do that either. 
But LeBron and Giannis and Kawhi, the big names, the same ones that saying something about the All Star game, was the same ones that said, you know what? We're not totally against resuming the season. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and have a season. We could finish the season out. And we had a season. Now you got those same guys saying, no, I'm not really feeling the All-Star game thing this year because of A, B, and C. And it's not like they're just saying it just to say it. They do give reasons why. And they do be legitimate reasons. So <clears throat> with that said, I'm with the players on this. If it's not going to be any fans and it's not going to be able to bring – if the players are not going to be able to feed off the energy in that arena – as far as entertaining the fans, I don't see the point. Maybe you got something different to um, open my eyes, but right now I don't, I don't understand. It. Yeah, you know, you know, my my personal position on All Star games, Pro Bowls, and all that stuff. I'm not I'm not a big, you know, I think the not a big fan of the, of any of them. I don't. It, it's to I me mean, the All Star game is always like one of these 185 to 180 contests. It's it's not really. It's not really a basketball game. It's just a show. It's a performance. There's no like right. resistance. Anybody's defending anybody until like the last few minutes. Um, you know, I, I enjoy the three point shootout. Probably that's probably my favorite event. But it does. The, the, I think the biggest point that you know before I came in here today and you know heard you know what you had to say on the, the fans piece definitely definitely probably the the biggest factor for why I like the biggest reason why I think you shouldn't do it. If the, if the game is truly for the fans and all the events are for the fans and you get to see the best players up close and it's all of that, I think that's your that's your best argument. Uh, but on the flip side, did, I mean you got you got to think about this. We're we're approaching the the like year anniversary of Rudy Gobert touching all the microphones and let just life as we know it getting shut down. And I think at some point we have to move forward and just progress and understand that. Um, we, we, I mean, how, how long are you willing to just, you know, put all these different aspects of life on hold just because there's a, a, a pandemic, a sickness, or all the rest of it? I, I get all that. I get it. I get a lot of people have died. And I'm not trying to make light of any of that. I wouldn't do that. Uh, but at some point, and as, as we discussed before, the cost of doing all that, whether it's the economic cost, whether it's the mental health cost, you can go through all the you can follow the science all you want to but at some point you know you got to follow the science be damned let let's 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 follow some actual leaders who can take into account the science but all the other factors of life and weigh them all and say okay this is the best decision we can make and as far as things um I, i'm just ready to let, let's move forward we got vaccines in the works people are getting vaccinated people are still mitigating as best they can as far as i know um so um, it's definitely, I guess the, another, another issue I have is like, as you, as you point out, the NBA and the Players Association are like getting together and saying, all right, this is what we're going to do. So why is it, as those negotiations are being finalized, that now you have guys coming out the woodwork and crying about it? I, I, just, I just find that very curious. You know, Chris Paul is the NBA Players Association, and as I've been told, is very good friends with LeBron James. Right. So why, why, why is it that LeBron James has to come out to the media and say, oh, you know, I don't I don't have the energy or the excitement for the all star game. Why couldn't you get Chris Paul on the phone and say, hey, man, is there like let, is there any way we can explore? Like, have we talked about the reasoning why we maybe we shouldn't do this? You know, there ain't gonna be no fans there. You know, we still got pan, we still got the pandemic. We got all these other things. How, what, what if we didn't do it? Like if it's all if it is all about money and all that, then. And it, we, also, it's going to it's going to be a logistical pain to get all these guys from different areas to one central location, do your quarantines and all this. And then they're not as far as I know, they're not extending the all star break because, you know, the non all stars, you know, they're going to get they always get the most time off. So in some it's some uh, in some similar, it's an honor to be an all star, but you don't get as much as a break as the other guys do. So I get that part of it. But I, I just. The lack of, you know, communication. You know, I'm sure you've heard it throughout your years of service and blah, blah, blah. It's always, it's the, it could be a whole lot better. This is the same kind of thing. Why, why, why is the Players Association not, you know, communicating with the players? And these are the, the, the uber-talented guys. You know, now you, have, uh, now you have Kawhi, now you have James Harden and Giannis. You know, they're, you know, top 10 players in their own right. Now they're now they're on board with LeBron and saying, "Hey, we don't no, we don't think we should have an all star." Those are your all stars that would be participating. So to me, it's just 
it's just really curious on why the players association moves forward. Uh, do the, do the players not get, you know, are they not included on the discussions or anything? It's just, it's just a really curious thing. And my last thing is like, I, I gotta, I gotta get it Giannis in this regard, because I understand the fact that even though that LeBron remains the face of the NBA, but this, I gotta get to this quote because it, it, it bothers me to an extent. Giannis says, I think every player was looking for those five days, seven days, whatever the days are. We got, but we got to follow the big dog talking about LeBron James. The big dog says he has zero excitement, zero energy for the all-star game. And I'm the same way. I really right now don't care about the all-star game. Giannis. Why, why, why does, what is this United States Congress to where like you have to just fall into the majority leader and all the rest of it. Like Giannis, Giannis, Giannis is the back to back. MVP, Giannis, yeah, but Giannis, Giannis has to no fall LeBron. in line too. You can't Giannis have your own opinion on this. Okay, okay, I get the own opinion, but Giannis ain't LeBron. Like, let's make something clear here, folks. Let's make something clear. In the NBA, in an NBA-driven league, yes, somebody is the top dog. We seen it with Jordan. We seen it with with Kobe. We just seen it with. Somebody's the top dog. That's LeBron. I'm not mad at Giannis for saying, listen, at the end of the day, because I guarantee you this, LeBron is in more conversations than Giannis. LeBron know more than what Giannis know. So Giannis is like, hell, I don't want to play. So the biggest the biggest scapegoat thing I can do is say, yeah, I'm, I'm agreeing with LeBron because I really don't want to play this shit either. So that's you know fine. If, if, in the, yeah, if in the end he has the same position, that's fine. But you don't. You don't have to like that. Oh, we we got the, my biggest problem with that course. We've got oh to God. follow LeBron. No, you don't have an opinion. Y'all, you're the back to back MVP, and to me, you're the next best thing. Whenever LeBron hangs it up, Giannis to me is the next. He's gonna. He has the best opportunity to take on the face of the league, and that's that's what o- I'm talking over about. Over Durant, I think I think over Durant, I think over Durant. Um, but I think in the in the end, like I don't I don't much care. I do find it curious that Darren Fox is like calling the All Star Game stupid when no. I just we just pulled the voting. Clay Thompson is tenth among voting. We don't know where Dar- Darren Fox has less votes than Clay Thompson. So go ahead, go ahead and speak your piece. I'm all for it, but d- you're not in the conversation, Darren Fox. That so that's who should have said what Giannis said. We just gonna <laughs> yeah, roll with the big dog. Fox. He should have said that. <laughs> I, but um. <laughs> this is this I think this is a this is a fascinating discussion. Um there's there I think there's a lot of merit to both sides. Um the biggest problem I have in the end is the players in the players association that there's just I don't understand the disconnect. I don't understand why Chris Paul and it, if I'm Chris Paul it makes me more like why am I even bothering with this? Cuz now Chris Paul has to come out and address like you know, because all the stars that came out and said that they don't, a lot of them said they don't want to play. And now Chris Paul is like, man, I didn't make, I'm sure Chris Paul has done a lot of work to like negotiate with the the league and like, that. you know, this is the revenue split and this is how, the, you know, this is how we're going to quarantine. Uh, this is how, you know, this is going to be the sequence of events. All this planning that has already taken place. And now after the fact, it's like, I didn't done all this work. And now, now people ain't satisfied. That, there's a communication disconnect between the players and the players association. I think moving forward, because the NBA doesn't, they don't, I don't think the NBA gets in this position where they look kind of, kind of, you know, stupid. They look a little stupid right now. They have a little egg on their face because of this. Um, and I think, I think that's the biggest all-star game or no all-star game. They got to get that corrected moving forward.